Um, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and uh, glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Makakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shout out one to the Aki, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out one to the Aki, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say uh, shout out one to the Aki out there. And uh, this is a sit down lesson. <clears throat> and you know, the men of the Lord, we're not, we're not going to apologize for us breaking out the truth. You know, and this is the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, right? Because this truth is making us free. And the brothers that's uh, preaching this word, you know, uh, through the four corners of the globe, you know, we're not going to be like uh, our sports figures, uh, people of, within our nation, uh, bringing out the truth and then dub down on it, being that uh, double minded spirit, you know. Uh, apologize for bringing out the truth and then talk about it's you you know what anti small hatters you know breaking out that that's just a prime example because I'm speaking the code you know we're not going to apologize to nobody for bringing out this truth you know that's why this truth is making us free you know waking up for us being the children of Israel which is the 12 lost tribes of the children of Israel scattered through the four corners of the globe just like the scripture says Hosea 1 and 10 Israel shall be the sand of the sea you know and those small hatters they are not the sand of the sea you know they are small among the heathen you know they are a small population you know because Israel been scattered through the four corners of the globe all 12 tribes of Israel been scattered you know been scattered in North Central and South America, throughout Europe, uh, parts of Asia, throughout the Middle East, you know, in these islands, you know, small hatters, you know, they small in number, you know, that lets you know that they're not the people of the Lord, you know, that's why the men of the Lord is bringing out this truth, and this truth shall make us free, you know, even though uh, Israel, uh, that bringing out this truth, and then later on, they have to apologize for bringing out the truth, because they think it's anti-small hatters, you know. Like the scripture says, Israel might have the zeal of knowledge, but not according to the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem El Shai, and the correct, uh, correct right doctrine of Yahweh Hashem El Shai, you know. And I'm going to bring it out again. This is the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Right, because this truth is making us free. And waking up uh, us, that's being the uh, children of Israel, Yahshua, he is the prince of the power, you know. We are the uh, sons, we are sons and daughters of the Heavenly Father, you know. It's like the daughters of Zion, they are the daughters of Zion, you know, which is the 12 tribes, so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, you know. And we're not going to apologize just for bringing out the truth, you know. Like Scripture says, the truth shall make you free. And this truth is making us free from what we learn of the ways of this world. So we're not going to apologize to no small habits, you know, it doesn't go that way, no. Especially us men of the Lord that's in this truth. And it's uh, Romans 8 and 2. For the law of the spirit of life in Hamashiach Yahweh has made me free from the from the law of sin and death. Right? Because Yahweh Hashem El Shai given us the spirit and truth. You know, follow the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. And turn us away from sin and death as well too. You know, because you follow wickedness. Because like the scripture says, the wages of sin is death, you know. So that's why, you know, we give praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akarkadash for this truth, you know. And this truth for uh, making us free, you know. Uh, free from learning the ways of this world, you know. Even though we are of the world, but not of it spiritually, you know. Because spiritually, we're not of this world. But physically in the flesh, we of this world, but not spiritually of this world you know that's why the truth is setting us uh free from this truth you know that john 8 32 tells it all right there you know let's see uh so yeah you know this was just a quick little sit down outside lesson after i uh finished camp with the elders and the Akim today about two hours ago so I was like still outside. I, I was gonna go straight back home, but uh, you know, I just kind of changed my mind. Like I said, out outside for about a couple of hours or so, then head back in and did, you know, do a little quick out, outside lesson. 
But, you know, hey, like I just mentioned of the title of this uh, lesson, hey, the men of the Lord, the uh, men of the Lord is not going to apologize to no small happiness for working out the truth. Just like John 8 and 34. And you should know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Right. Because uh, Yahweh Bosh, starting with Yahweh, Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai, then the elders, apostles, and the brothers on down, you know. You know, these uh, holy scriptures uh, bring us free. You know, for, for this truth, you know, the righteous, holy ways of the uh, scriptures and the doctrine of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, which is being preached the right, correct way. And just like uh, says in Matthew, this gospel shall be preached unto all nations, you know, throughout the four corners of the globe. And that's what you're saying, you know, we're not going to back down. We're not going to apologize just for bringing out this truth, you know, for exposing the small hatters, you know, and... And that's our, uh, you know, that's our uh, language, culture, that belongs to us. It all belongs to the small habits, you know. We're not going to be like Kyrie Irving and others that, you know, that apologize, have a change of heart, you know, just for bringing out the truth. You know, the men of the Lord ain't going to be like that, you know. We're not apologizing to no small habits. We're not backing down from that, you know. So with that, I hope this little quick sit down lesson outside was uh, edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh outside on this Saturday afternoon at 4.02 p.m. Central Standard Time on this uh, Saturday afternoon, November 5th, 2022. And I hope this lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh outside. Hopefully that I was on point with the scriptures and hopefully you was able to understand this. So with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, with Concordash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akin, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom and a Baal, Baal.